So let's do an example problem here uh, in which we've got a car passing a truck. So we got a highway, okay, and we've got an 18-wheel truck here. Okay, and so the truck, let's say, is a length of 44 feet, okay, and we've got a vehicle over here, and this vehicle is a length of 11 feet, okay, and let's say the truck is moving at some velocity v sub t, and the car is moving at some velocity v sub c. So let's say that v sub c is 65 miles per hour, and let's say that v sub t, the velocity of the truck, is 50 miles per hour. Okay, and so when the car is a distance of 25 uh, feet behind the truck, uh, pulls over, so the car's coming up behind the truck, pulls over uh, uh, to the left to pass the truck, and then when the car is a distance of 30 feet in front of the truck, pulls back in front of the truck. Okay, and so what I want to know is two things. How long does this take to happen, and how far down the road does the car move while it's doing this, this pass? Okay, so we think about it and we say, okay, well, we got feet as all our distances up here, but the velocities are miles per hour. So obviously we want to convert, you know, we think, well, how far does it take to do this? You're thinking like hundreds of feet, maybe, you know, not miles and not hours, but seconds. And so we're, we're going to look at this and say, well, I'm going to convert 65 miles per hour into feet per second. So, uh, and then likewise, the truck, I'm going to convert 50 miles per hour into feet per second. So we know that an hour is the same as 3,600 seconds and that there's 5,280 feet in one mile. So miles cancel, hours cancel. And so uh, this turns out to be 73.3 feet per second. Uh, do the similar thing with the car. And that turns out to be 95.3 feet per second. Okay. Now, there's two ways of solving the problem. One way of solving the problem is you have the truck and the truck goes some distance x sub t, and the car goes some distance x sub c, and we know that there's this x1 distance here, there's the distance, that, you know, x2 there, x3, x4, and so the, 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 the xt has to equal xc, plus, or rather xc rather, has to equal xt plus x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4. And then we have the x equation here for the car, the x equation for the truck, okay? And we solve all those equations. That's one way of doing it. That's the hard way of doing it. So we don't want to do it the hard way. So we say there's another way of doing it. And that is we got the truck moving along. And so we know this is 11 feet here. This is 25 feet. The truck is going to be equal to 44 feet. And in front of the truck is 30 feet. And so the car is actually moving faster than the truck. Okay. So if I put a coordinate axis right here and the axis is moving at the same speed as the truck, that means the truck is not moving relative to the axis. So all we have to do is figure out how far the car goes. And so the velocity of the car is going to be basically the difference between the car's original velocity and the truck's velocity. So that's going to be 95.3 feet per second minus 73.3 feet per second. So that's 22 
feet per second. Well, what's the relative distance the car goes? The, the relative distance the car goes is the car has to go 25 feet. Remember, this axis is moving with the truck, so the truck doesn't move in the axis, so the car has to go 25 feet, has to go 44 feet, has to go 30 feet, has to go an additional 11 feet, so the back of the car actually ends up 30 feet in front. So the distance the car goes is 25 feet plus 44 feet plus 30 feet plus 11 feet. And so the relative distance the car goes is 110 feet. Okay, at 22 feet per second is the relative velocity. So the time is going to be 110 feet divided by 22 feet per second. This is the relative distance. This is the relative time, or the relative velocity, rather. And so that gives us the time. Okay. And that comes out to be five seconds. Okay. So it takes five seconds to complete the pass. Well, how far did the car actually go down the road as it was doing that? Well, to find out how far the car goes, we just use the velocity of the car times time. Now, the car is moving down the road at 95.3 feet per second. That's the velocity relative to the road, and this takes five seconds. So the distance the car goes down the road is 477 feet. Okay, so that's how you do this problem. Okay, so now we're going to make it a little more complicated with our next problem. To do the next problem, you're going to have to watch the next video.